Every few years, comic book characters are revised to stop them from getting stale. Their costume might receive a mild redesign, or the character may get a whole new look. But there are other times where a superhero or supervillain isn't just tweaked a little bit. They are practically unrecognisable. Since comics must stand by the status quo, these alterations always reverse themselves. But that doesn't mean the heroes and villains are out of the woods. A person can suffer a metamorphosis so horrific that they're never the same again. Some of the characters in this list experienced their change years ago, but are still feeling the effects of it to this day. Some of these changes are cool, others may come across as silly or gimmicky, but one thing that we can all agree on is that every one of these transformations was utterly horrific. With that in mind, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 10 comic book characters who underwent horrifying transformations. 10. Wolverine Loses His Nose while the X-Men were battling Magneto, the Master of Magnetism used his powers to rip the adamantium skeleton out of Wolverine. This injury overloaded Logan's system, causing him to lose his healing factor. Not only that, but the trauma of Magneto's attack reverted poor Wolvie's mind to a primitive state. Wolverine is a great character, but his storylines can lack suspense, seeing as he can heal from any wound. However, this arc was great as readers have not seen Wolverine actually acting this vulnerable in years. Unfortunately, Wolverine's digression had a mild side effect. After he took on more animalistic characteristics, he lost his nose. Why? I have no idea. It doesn't matter if Wolverine is supposed to look vulnerable, depressed, angry, or vicious during this story arc. He looks absolutely ridiculous without a nose. This tiny change made a potentially dramatic story very hard to take seriously. 9. Punisher is reborn as Franken Castle. Once upon a time, the Punisher was killed, sliced to ribbons, and decapitated. But don't worry, the Punisher was totally fine because he got sewn up by Morbius and some mole people and a bunch of monsters. The Punisher was then reborn as a robotic zombie called Franken Castle. You see, the Punisher's real name is Frank Castle, and it's like a play on words. That was the entire motivation to write this entire story for a pun. As a concept, the idea could work. Frankenstein's monster and the Punisher look intimidating. If you put them together, Franken Castle should look terrifying as hell. Unfortunately, the art style is cartoonish, so Franken Castle looks goofy as hell making him lose all menace. 8. Killer Croc's Mutation Killer Croc has suffered a congenital disorder from birth, which regresses his body and mind to a reptilian state. Although he had a crocodile-like hide in his debut, he didn't look too bad. I mean, he wasn't gonna win a beauty pageant or anything, but you know, he could've looked worse. And then the writer's thoughts make him look worse. Every time he tangles with the Dark Knight, Killer Croc seems to resemble a human being less and less. Over the years, he's developed razor-sharp canines, claws, a tail, jagged skin, and a protruding snout. But sadly, his transformation isn't just physical. In his first few appearances, he was intelligent, articulate, and could wield a sniper rifle with ease. During this time, his goal was to become the leader of the criminal underworld. As his condition worsened, his mind debilitated until he was no more than a wild animal. Nowadays, his goal is to steal money to reverse his disorder, before he loses his humanity altogether. Killer Croc may have killed dozens of innocent victims, but considering the hand he was dealt in life, you can't help but feel sorry for him. 7. Speedball Becomes Penance after being exposed to, um, something at a young age, Robert Baldwin develops the power to manipulate kinetic energy and so became the superhero Speedball. When his team, the New Warriors, became popular, they received their own reality show. When popularity in the show started to dip, the New Warriors sought more dangerous foes to boost their ratings. While the group attempted to apprehend a combustible villain called Nitro in Stamford, the criminal caused an explosion which killed 612 civilians, including 60 children. Baldwin believed that if he wasn't so desperate for ratings, he would never have pursued Nitro and those 612 people would still be alive. He was so overwhelmed with self-loathing, he felt he deserved to suffer. As punishment, he ordered a new costume which contained 612 internal spikes, which caused him constant pain. Each of these spikes represents each life lost in Stamford because of him. Since 60 of the victims were children, 60 spikes were made extra long, so they actually pierced his skin, making Baldwin experience excruciating agony. 
When he put on his new costume, he burned his speedball outfit and coined the name Penance. 6. Ra's al Ghul is resurrected as a zombie. Ra's al Ghul has cheated death for 800 years by rejuvenating himself in the Lazarus Pits. If a person enters one of these pools of mystical energy, they will be healed from any ailment. However, it seems like Ra's was gone for good when he was stabbed to death by his daughter before he had a chance to reach a Lazarus Pit. Then, just to make sure he couldn't be reanimated in any way, his body was cremated. But Ra's was not gonna let a little thing like that stop him. To resurrect himself, he intended to transfer his soul into his grandson, Damian Wayne. His minions resurrect Raz's corpse in a body, which serves as a temporary husk until he can locate Damian. His form is so frail, Batman actually snaps his arm off. When Raz ultimately fails to transfer his soul to Damian, he uses his own son, Dusan, as a vessel instead, allowing himself to be ultimately reborn. 5. Deadpool's Exposed Brain if you thought Deadpool couldn't possibly look worse, think again. When the Spider-Man comics were rebooted during the millennium, one of his foes was a revised version of Deadpool. In this story, the Merc with a Mouth is pure evil and has sworn to wipe out all mutants. His team, the Reavers, augmented their bodies into killing machines to make them more efficient mercenaries. Deadpool wanted to be unstoppable and so took the augmentation as far as he could. Although he was made the most powerful Reaver, the experiment deformed his body, rotted away all the skin on his face, and left his brain permanently exposed. Also, he has no eyelids, so he can't blink. Ever. 4. Riddler becomes a walking skeleton. In a battle of wits, Batman believes the Riddler is the most dangerous villain. But when it comes to fisticuffs, Bats could defeat Riddler with a single punch, and he often does. In the recent story, The War of Jokes and Riddles, Edward Nigma's appearance was revised. Not only did he have a bulkier physique, he could hold his own in a brawl. Not everybody liked this change though, seeing as Nigma's strength has always lain in his mind, not his body. However, what happened next may have been even stranger. Left sick and tired after being bested by Batman time and time again, Riddler took mind-enhancing amphetamines to broader his mind. He barely ate or slept for three months while he tried to find a riddle with no solution. A riddle befitting a Riddler. During this time, his body whittled away, so he resembled nothing more than a human skeleton. This new depiction of the Riddler was to show how unhinged he had become, but it seemed to come out of nowhere since we only saw him reinvented as a beefed up brute just one year before. 3. Spider-Man turns into a man-spider When Spidey and Angel venture to the Savage Land, they're captured by Magneto's underling, Brainchild. Using a devolution ray, Brainchild turns Angel into a griffin and Spider-Man into a horrific man-spider. Deprived of their personalities, Brainchild manipulates the two heroes to attack his enemy, Kazar. Fans enjoyed the Man Spider story so much, it was incorporated into the animated series, Spider-Man. In the second season of the show, Parker learns that the spider bite that gave him his powers is mutating him further. When he takes a potential antidote to reverse the mutation, it inadvertently accelerates it instead, turning good old Spider-Man into an eight-limbed mindless monster. 2. Supergirl melts into goo Of all the different versions of Supergirl we've seen over the years, the most disgusting one has to be Matrix. Lex Luthor created a protoplasmic being and molded it to resemble a female Superman. This entity, called Matrix, bonded with a woman called Linda Danvers to become the new Supergirl. If this version of Supergirl was ever injured, her protoplasmic body would break down, causing her to become, for the lack of a better word, gloopy. Watching Supergirl melt into jelly was somehow horrifying and hilarious at the same time. 1. Joker has his face cut off When the DC Universe rebooted itself, a lot of readers were curious about what the writers were going to do with the Joker. So, in the very first issue of Batman, the Joker allowed his own face to be cut off. Even by Joker standards, that's pretty insane. The Joker then returned a year later in the story Death of the Family, wearing his own face as a mask. The story was only made in 2013, but it is already considered a classic, mainly because of the Joker's sickening look. Looking at the artwork for this one can be hard to stomach. 
and it is easily one of the most horrifying transformations any comic book character has ever undergone. And there you have it folks, 10 comic book characters who underwent horrifying transformations. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at uslydowlu. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.